Why, it's Billy and Betty with Whitey. Well, how on earth did you three ever... I'll tell you about that later, Mr. Malcolm. We better get away from here. Yes, we'll head for Port Moulton. You can rest there, Betty. I don't want to rest till I get back to the United States. And boy, when we get there, well, I have a story to broadcast. expedition reached the ship without further difficulty. All the scientists are enthusiastic over their discoveries, and they're very thankful to be back in this country again, out of reach of the Scorpion. The discovery he's referring to concerns the five lenses that fit into the Golden Scorpion you see before you. With the lenses in place, the sun's rays can be utilized to change inert material into powerful explosives and to turn base metals into gold. Whoever controls this device will have power such as men have dreamed of since the beginning of time. And that's my job to get the lenses. All right, tell me who's got them and I'll get to work. It won't be so easy, Barnett. The lenses were divided among the scientists who have hidden them carefully. But you're one of these men. That's going to help us. Naturally. We're holding a meeting at Malcolm's home today. I want you to see that Henry Carlyle does not arrive at that meeting. His lens is the first point of attack. Mr. Malcolm, Mr. Carlyle has been delayed. He expects to be here in about 10 minutes. Uh, thank you, Betty.
Now keep driving straight ahead. Scorpion wants your lens. You don't think I'd ever let him get it, do you? Yes, I think you will. Those electric eyes are throwing a beam which will knock out anyone who gets between them. And at the same time... Wait, I'll show you. change your mind, we'll give you a personal demonstration. All right, all right, I'll tell you. It's in a safe at my home. I don't remember the combination, but Miss Wallace has it written down. I'll phone her and... No, you'll write her a note. All right. And unless you follow these instructions, the Scorpion's men will carry out their threat against me. This note is signed by Henry Carlyle. The Scorpion? In this country. Then we were all in danger. We should call the police. By all means. This is an emergency. Carlyle's life is in danger. But do you know where Carlyle's lens is, Miss Wallace? Yes. But I promise never to tell anyone. You needn't tell anyone, Betty. The question is, should you get the lens and deliver it as the note instructs you to? Or should we turn this matter over to the authorities? What do you think, Lang? I say send the lens and save Carlisle. Fisher? Send Miss Wallace with the lens. Bentley? It's the only way. Tell Chitali? Send the lens. Very well. You have until midnight to get the lens and deliver it. The note said you must go to the Elm Street Bridge alone. Are you willing to do that? For Mr. Carlyle, yes. If you'll all keep in touch with me by telephone, I'll let you know as soon as Betty reports. Betty. I have an idea. Now, you won't need to take any chances, because I'll see that everything goes all right. Is that right? Eat? Sure, let's go. We'll follow him when he leaves. Get your hands up, both of you. All right, go ahead. Watch this. They were watching you, Colin. Search him.
Shazam! to trap us, but I got away with the lens. This box is empty. We'll have another talk with Mr. Carlyle. Come on. So, thought you'd trick us, eh? Oh, I know. I wrote the note asking Betty to get the lens for you. Well, she didn't get it. You better figure out a better way to persuade her. I don't know what else I can do. No? Well, think and think fast. We'll help you. If you can't figure out some way to get that lens, you'll go under the knife. And we'll go after the girl ourselves. I can't. I don't know what more I can do. Draw him in. <laughs> <laughs> 